If you are fully prepared for the Alex Math placement exam, you should be able to solve this problem. Now, if you are concerned about your readiness or if you're just overwhelmed with all the math that you're going to face on the Alex Math placement exam, make sure to check out my Alex Math test prep course. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this problem. Okay, so the first step to solve this problem is to understand this word right here, condense. So we have a logarithmic uh, expression here and we want to condense the expression. So what does that mean? Well, you can think of uh, condensing an expression as to make smaller, right? So what we wanna do is simplify this expression and uh, effectively what that means is to write this using less uh, variables and notation. So in other words, we're going to condense this big expression into a smaller expression. Now the opposite of condensing an expression is to expand the expression. So you'll start off with something like this and then you'll write it in this manner. So when you are studying logarithms, you need to know how to condense and expand expressions. This is really important. And the way you do this is to use properties of logarithms. So let's get into the solution right now. So again, we're going to condense this expression. We have log t plus six log s. All right, so you need to understand the properties of logarithms to solve this problem. Now, I'm not gonna cover all the properties. I'm just gonna be talking about the properties of logarithms that we need for this particular problem. But uh, here is one main property you definitely need to understand, and that is uh, the product property. So anytime you have the logarithm of a product, like the logarithm of x times y, you can write that as log x plus log y. So going in this direction, you are expanding log uh, x, y, right? So if I told you to expand the expression log x times y, well, you would write this. But if I told you to condense the expression log x plus log y, you would write log x, y, all right? So again, when you think, uh, when you think about logarithms, you have to think about expanding and condensing. Okay, so you have to know uh, basically uh, all these properties in order to do this. But in this particular problem, all we need to know is two properties. So this is the first one, the product property. Now the second property we need to understand is the power property. So that is the logarithm of a power. So log x to the n power is equal to n times log x. So again, here is our uh, logarithmic expression. If we want to expand it, we would write it this way. If we had n log x, we would uh, condense it by writing it this way. So really what's going on here is that this exponent n drops in front of this uh, logarithm. Now this is a product. This is n times log x, and this is equal to log to the x to the n power. Before we continue with the video, I want to tell you about my Alex Math Placement course. So as a math teacher, as someone who's been teaching for decades, I really built what I think is one of the most comprehensive Alex Math test prep courses anywhere. So uh, I basically go through basic math, algebra, advanced algebra, and trigonometry. So this is going to get you extremely prepared to do well on the Alex uh, exam. I'm gonna leave a link to this course in the description of this video. So check it out after uh, this video finishes, but let's get back to the problem. Okay, so now that we understand these properties of logarithms, we can easily condense this expression. So we have log t plus six log s. So where we wanna start is this expression right here. So six log s, so how can we condense this? Well, we need to be thinking about that power property. So we could take this six here and move it up to uh, this S right here as the exponent. So that is going to be our first step. And the reason why we can do that is this property here. So we have N log X, this is equal to log X N. So this N right here is the same thing as this six or in the same position. So we can move that up here as X to the N or in this case, six to the S power. All right, so we're going to uh, clean this up before we start thinking about the product property, which is going to be our next move. Okay, so now we have log t plus log uh, s to the sixth power. Okay, so now we have 
one logarithm plus another logarithm. Now, one thing that I need to stress here and just kind of thinking about these properties, they only work, these properties of logarithms uh, work when the bases are the same. In other words, here we, we uh, have the common log or log base 10. Uh, this wouldn't be the case if we had like log base 10 and like log base 7. So the bases need to be the same in order to apply these properties. Okay, so now we have a uh, sum of two logarithms. So you need to be thinking about the product property. Okay, so log t plus log s to the sixth power. Well, again, anytime we are adding logarithms with the where the bases are the same, we need to be thinking about products. So log x times y is equal to log x plus log y. So that means that uh, here we can write this expression as one single logarithm. It's going to be a logarithm times these things right here. Okay, so that would be t times s to the sixth power. So log t plus log s to the sixth power is equal to log t times uh, s to the sixth power. So that is going to be our final move in order to, to condense this expression. So our final answer is log t uh, times s to the sixth power. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, there is a lot of math on the Alex Math Placement Test. And you don't want to go in there uh, underprepared because that will have uh, negative uh, consequences as you really do want to place into the best math course for you. So make sure to check out my Alex Math Test Prep course. Again, you can find a link to that in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.